Hi everybody, it's Kathy again, and this uh, video is going to show you how to set up your kitchen project with all of your model organization object layers, location layers, and a special layer, and then work on setting up the scenes that you need to set up so that you can bring your project into layout correctly. I'm going to start with the basic model here, and I do have a backsplash in here, but uh, this is not the one that I used to create the earlier video on how to do backsplashes. I only have one backsplash uh, style and one um, set of backsplashes in this particular model. Um, I also added one additional organization layer called OB backsplashes. It's one thing that's not listed in your sheet. The required backsplash, the, sorry, the required um, layers to set up. Uh, so what I want to do is I want to clean up the model first before I get started, and I do have these additional layers that I don't really want to keep anymore. And I'm going to uh, select them and click on Delete Layer, and I want to move all the contents to the default layer, which is layer zero. So I'm going to click OK, and the appliances layer, I want to do the same thing. I want to actually, I do need an OB appliance layer, so I really can just rename this one. So I'm going to go ahead and rename this OB underscore appliances and make these all caps. So I'm starting to create my layers. These actually have already been assigned, so I still have all of my appliances on the OB appliance layer. I have all my backsplash on the backsplashes layer. The reason I deleted cabinets is because I want to separate my upper cabinets and my lower, my base cabinets on separate OB layers. Uh, so now I'm going to go ahead and just start creating the layers that I need. And I'm just going to go down the list and then we'll, re we'll assign things to these layers afterwards. So the first one is going to be LO East Wall. And then we need LO, keep wanting to do underscore, Southwell. LO, Westwell. And now I'm going to start my object layers. OB, base model. OB cabinets wall. Those are going to be my wall cabinets, my uppers. OB cabinets base. Those are my lower cabinets. I already have appliances. I'm going to do OB countertops. OB windows, and OB plumbing. Now in my model, I cheated a little bit and I did not put a sink uh, or faucet in. However, you guys will have that in your model. So you will put that on your plumbing later. And then I have one more for special uh, it's called special layers and it's SP underscore section cuts. And this is where I'm going to put place all my section cuts so I can turn them on and off from the layer area. So the first thing that I'm going to assign to its own layer is the base model. And that happens to be our walls and floors that we grouped earlier. So I'm going to select the walls and floors. In the entity info, I'm going to change the layer to base model. Now um, in my layers tray, I can turn off my base model. And what I have left is my kitchen. It's going to be a whole lot easier for me to 
move everything to the current correct layer if I can see the cabinets from all sides. So we'll just work with it this way. And if you want to, you can kind of change your field of view or you can um, get to the point where you can see most of the kitchen. I'm going to go ahead and unlock, or he's already unlocked Chris, and I'm going to hide him so that I can see better everything. All right, uh, so I'm going to choose all the base cabinets first. So I'm going to go ahead and start selecting them, holding the control key down, and make sure that I get all of the base cabinets selected. And I'm going to, all of them are on layer zero, so it's easy to go ahead and move them to the cabinet base, OB cabinet base. If you have cabinets that are on multiple different layers, then you won't get that option under entity info. So you can switch, you can choose them individually and move them individually if you have to. Uh, now I'm going to start with the uppers. Again, I'm going to select all of them if I can together. I'm not making groups out of these, by the way. I'm just selecting them because they're already components. And this tall one is considered a wall cabinet, so I'm going to select that one as well. And they're all coming in on layer zero, so they all show up, 10 components. I can change them now to cabinets wall. And to just check to make sure I did that correctly, I will turn off first my cabinets wall, and I'm left with my base cabinets, turn off my base, and I'm left with my appliances, my backsplash, and my countertops. Uh, so now I'm going to move my um, appliances so I can select each appliance. I had already grouped these two together so that they would uh, not move on me. Uh, so I'm selecting those. Um, notice that they're on some different layers at the moment, so I can't move them together. So let's try moving them independently. This is already on my OB appliance layer. So is this. Uh, this one is not. This one is. And these are not. So these are the ones that need to be moved to OB appliance, appliances. And turn those off just to check. And now I have my countertops and my backsplashes and my windows. Uh, these should be grouped together, which they are. So I can select those and then move them to countertops. Turn off my countertops. And then I can move my windows. Select my windows. Layer zero. Move them to OB windows. Turn off my windows. Now if I had a sink, and fixtures, I'd move those to plumbing. And I would like to make, here's my backsplashes. I already put them on a separate layer. If you didn't do that, you can move your backsplashes to your OB backsplashes layer. Turn those off, and I pretty much have turned off everything that I have here. What's left is actually all of my guidelines, which I'm probably going to, at this point, be able to delete. And then I also have all of my section cuts. So um, I can turn on my section cuts even without the model there. And I can select them. And they are on layer zero. I have three section planes, and those are for my three uh, views, south, east, and west. Uh, west. Uh, but I can select these and change them from layer zero to my SP section cuts layer. And that way, if I want to, I can uh, make sure that my section cuts are turned off in my scenes through my layers panel rather than having to rely on my section cut. My section cut display planes, but display section planes. This um, is one way, but it's easier to have them in the layers area. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn them off. Now we're going to start setting up some scenes, and the first three scenes that I need are my elevations. I need a kitchen elevation for each direction, south, east, and west. 
the south kitchen south that I have now is a perspective view of the kitchen so my kitchen elevation is going to be a parallel projection so I can actually go to my kitchen south and change the camera view to parallel projection and then I'm going to save a new scene so I'm going to add a scene double click in here so I can rename it I right click rename to page down to see it and then this is going to be called south elevation I'm going to do that for each one I want to keep all of the information here my camera locations my visible layers everything checked go to the west and I'm going to zoom in just a bit oops I didn't want to do that uh, don't use the rotation tool the orbit tool and zoom in and change my camera to parallel projection again I want to zoom in and I want to save the scene And this is going to be called West Elevation. And then I'm going to go to Kitchen East. Same thing. This is going to be Camera Parallel Projection. Zoom in. Save this new scene as East. elevation.